Let's work on this activity. Write a Python function that takes an integer from 0 to 100, representing a course grade, and returns a string of the letter grade. OK, so let's switch on over to our interpreter and script. First things first, change to where we are. There we go. And now let's write a function. So def calc grade. So take a grade g, colon, indent. So if g is greater than or equal to 90, then, oh, let's make it 80 actually, 80, then we'll return a. If g is greater than or equal to 70, return b. If grade is greater than or equal to 60, return C. If grade oh, G is greater than or equal to 50, return D. And if G is, well, actually, let's just do an else, else, return. There we go. Okay, there's our function. And I'm just gonna load up our script, run 4.4. There we go. And now I can call the function in the interpreter, calc grade, and let's give it a 94. Oh, oh, I typed it in wrong. There we go, returns a, awesome. So let's do another quick little check here. Let's give it a, a 44, F, good, good. So it seems to be working. Now, I know there might be some people that wanna do it another way where what they'll do is they'll create a variable, they'll assign the variable the letter grade, and then at the end of the function, they'll just have one return statement and returns whatever the letter grade is. So let's do that. So let's say grade equals, let's, let's start it as an empty string. And then we can just switch all of these things to this, right? So depending on what condition it is, we'll assign the string, and then down here, return grade. Now let's load up the script again. So run 4.4. Okay, it was able to load up, no problems there. And let's do a test. Let's run calc grade 44 again. F, okay, good. So it seems to work. Let's try with 94. No, 94, return D. Why? Well, let's have a look at what the function says. We gave it a G of 94. So let's go through this function. 94, is that greater than or equal to 80? Yes, so grade gets assigned A. Then it carries on to the next if statement. And is 94 greater than or equal to 70? Yes, so grade now gets assigned to B. And is 94 also greater than or equal to 60? Yes, so we assign it to the letter C. And then so, and so on, so that won't work. But there's a way to fix this. We can turn these into else ifs which means instead of evaluating each of the if statements, it'll only ever evaluate one. What I mean is when we assign, when we, when we run it, let's, let's reload it and just make sure it works. Oh, didn't work because I didn't save it. Now let's reload it and make sure it works. There, now it worked. Okay, why? Well, because the first condition is checked. And yes, 94 is in fact greater than or equal to 80. So grade gets assigned to A. But as soon as one of those if statements is triggered, we skip all the other things in the else if chain, and that's it. So this way, we solve our problem of running multiple if statements at once. So that makes it all check out. 